as you guys can see here on this desktop we are going to build a brand new pc hand by hand this is all the parts that i choose because i'm building up this pc as my workstation aka a pc for content creators used for video editing also good for gamers to play games there are some of parts that are already owned like previously had so uh, i'm using the existing parts that i already have um, but most of the i purchased it during the black friday sales the gigabyte rtx 2060 card is the card that i already have uh, on the alienware or r7 pc i've used it for a couple months i think it's like three four months also planning to change this card in the future to a gtx 1080 ti i hope i can find it for a good price recently i, I found a lot of 1080 ti that sold for 550 canadian dollars in canada here in vancouver if you just want to do a video editing the rtx 2060 or even the 1070 ti or 1060 it's enough for you to do uh, from 1080p videos or to 4k the reason why i want to go back to the 1080 ti is because 1080 ti had a lot a lot more cuda cores and uh, that's very essential for us especially if you're using the adobe premiere pro to edit new videos that software is optimized for using nvidia graphic cards using the cuda core for acceleration and the more cuda core you have uh, the more smoothness or the more power that you have to use Premiere Pro. So yeah, I think 1080 Ti just had um, pretty much the same amount of the CUDA cords compared to the RTX 2080 Ti. For sure, it's more than the RTX 2080. And the 2080 and 2080 Ti are a lot more expensive right now. So, um, you know, to save some money, I, I think 2080 Ti is for me to go. The case I'm using here is the uh, Fractal Design, the Mash C. Uh, you can find a lot of review online as well. And this is the black version with the black tinted glass. And also the motherboard I choose is uh, the Gigabyte Aorus X570 Pro with wi-fi just because if i don't want a wi-fi i'm still going to purchase the wi-fi card anyway and that's cost me extra money so and it is building with wi-fi 6 with uh bluetooth 5 the current wi-fi 6 card is the i think it's the asus cost me a hundred dollar canadian plus tax and uh, in the states i think it's around like 80 dollars something there is a cheaper version of this which offer you pretty much the same functionalities or the same things that you're gonna need uh, which is the x570 elite with or without wi-fi and that car is already good enough for a lot of people and uh, especially for content creators you don't need very good motherboard because you are not going to you know do some overclocking or you don't need that many features on motherboard so but for gaming that's a different story uh, i think this one i got 340 dollars in canada and the elite wi-fi was on sale for i think like 200 dollars yeah so 100 dollars cheaper there's another choice is the asus tough x570 with or without wi-fi and that that car is also a very good card as well uh the asus tough and the gigabyte uh, x570 elite or the pro they all have very good vrm on the motherboards uh, which uh, i think the gigabyte one is the 12 plus 2 phases yeah at least i'm pretty sure the pro and the elite they have the same vrm and uh, you've already can do some overclock on the elite as well just because you know i it's really hard for me to find the, the elite in stock and they, if if there were in stock and it's not on sale so um it's if it's not on sale then it's like 290 something dollars uh then i might as well just gonna get the pro the elite wi-fi come with the wi-fi 5 the ac not ax and the bluetooth 4. The asus tough has bluetooth 5.0 but the it's also ac wi-fi it's not wi-fi 6. so this one already have a wi-fi 6 and has a better audio compared to the tough and the elite and that's also a good thing for the um, content creators if you're also doing sound recording sound mixing or sound monitoring then you got need a better sound on the motherboard so otherwise i would uh, i'm gonna go purchase a separate sound card and uh, install on the motherboard anyway the elite wi-fi the elite without wi-fi or the asus tough with or without wi-fi the F x570 it's really a really a really good motherboard for a lot of guys uh, especially for you know the beginners or gamers or the content creators to use them the cpu down here you guys noticed this got to be the first amd cpu i've ever used within uh, 10 years i mean the last time i'm using a amd i think in 2006 or 2007 i don't know about at least 10 years ago the reason why it's pretty obvious 
right now recently amd is really kicking the butt of intel uh, they are really making a lot a lot of the good cpus processors uh and even also the gpus as well and compete with the intel and they also got better price so the this one i choose the one here is the ryzen 7 3800x this got a core 16 thread 3.9 gigahertz it can go up to 4.5 in the boost i mean head to head with the intel 9900k with 200 dollar canadian dollars cheaper than the 9900k if you want go for intel got eight core 16 threads you have to choose 9900k i also got it on black friday sale it comes with two games as well so um i forgot which game is it but uh, come with two games if you have more budget if you have more room to spend your money on the, on your pc you can also go for a more higher one which is this 3900x or 3900 50 if you can find one in stock here in this case i've chosen the 3800x because i think it's already good enough for me it's in my budget even though it cost me a lot as well this is pretty much the most expensive stuff here in this pc yeah this will be second expensive the third this is the aio the water cool system i choose the fractal design the celsius s24 uh, it had two 120 millimeter fans uh, and a radiator uh, the reason why i choose this is one it was on sale <laughs> yeah everything was on sale and this one was the the cheapest one i can find for for this size and also this one is expandable so i think in this price range this is the only aios you can find for you know in the you can upgrade it or expand it in the future and the review from my what i heard this one also runs very quietly and uh, the performance of this one is not bad as well yeah that's why i choose that and also because the case is factor design so that all fits in here i think i'll also do review for some of the parts here just you know the review of that thing alone but it's going to be in different videos and also on this part we've got a factor design the rgb fans uh this is a kit including three fans this is the power supply power supply use the cooler master v750 gold gold means the this is rated as 80 plus gold efficiency the ram i choose is the g scale transient z rgb this is the dual channel uh 2 by 16 gigabytes the total is 32 gigabytes one side 3200 megahertz the timing on this is the 16 18 18 38 the 1.35 volt version i think we need to find out if this one actually works good on the amd system but supposedly the 3200 should be work good within one by one ratio on the amd okay so rest of them is the hard drive which is all ssds ssd is very important for content creators because we can maximize our expect the read and write speeds are very important for us to editing especially in 4k 6k 8k videos here i have uh, purchased the three of the adata su 800 series ssds i got one terabyte version 512 gigabytes i've got the 256 gigabyte and i also got the a data uh, the xpg sx 8200 pro uh, this is the nvme m.2 ssd so this one is also very it's much faster than those uh SATA ssds uh, nvme this one's rated to uh, reading and the writing speed up to three gigabytes per second so that's over three thousand megabytes per second should be very fast the reason why i have this much of ssds are, come on you have lots of ssds and you're gonna install in there what are you gonna use for right um there are reasons for content creators or pc that beautiful content creations use multiple ssds one is because we need different ssd for doing different purposes for example i'm planning to use either 256 gigabyte or 512 gigabytes for just installing the system and the program the adobe premiere after effects and those sort of like editing programs and then i'm going to use the nvme m.2 ssds to use it for editing because the nvme s m.2 ssd is much faster than the SATA ones it's more important for us to edit in a video especially like 4k 6k 8k on those faster drives so if i choose the 512 gigabyte as the system and program drive then the 256 gigabyte or here i have a 128 gigabytes ssd i'm going to use those ssds as a cache that ssd is going to dedicate just for putting the cache so i'm going to reroute the adobe premiere cache folder onto that ssd so then you have separate ssds for doing separate jobs so one is for system and program one is for editing and one is for cache got it
yeah, that's pretty much it for everything goes into this case. Um, extra things based on that is the for content creators, we do need this a SD card reader, and this is a USB 3.1 Gen 2 dual slot SD card reader, and this is from Prograde. This is a hell of expensive SD card readers that I've ever purchased, I've ever owned. This SD card reader alone cost more than this fan and more than two of this drive. You know, this, this, this SD card is insane expensive. If it was on sale, we can get it around $100. Compared to the traditional, a normal USB 3 SD card reader, you can get for like $15, $20 and, or even less. This is hell of more expensive. It promised to give, supposed to have much faster speed on this. So the next thing is here, um, is the, this headphone. I mean, not really interesting, hey? But this is the Sony MDR7506. This is what everybody knows, the industry standard headphone for sound mixing, sound recorder, sound monitoring headphone. This is not for entertainment, for watching movies, for listening to your music. I mean, even though you can use this headphone to do that sort of things, but you may not find it pleasing as some of the other headphones like Bose because a lot of people tend to like a lot more bass and this one does not offer that. It's very flat bass and professional headphones are usually much different aspect compared to, to some other entertainment style headphones and just because they are made for consumer level use to listening music and all sort of stuff and those have more sensitivities you can hear a lot more what's going on in your Headphone. You're using for the sound recording uh, versus using, for example, the beats. Then this, especially, you can hear a lot more what's going on in the in the recording environment. What's the background? Maybe something like like people like ten meters away, air conditioning sounds or some other sounds. You can hear all of that on here. Okay. Anyway, uh, as everything is set, I think it's already too much. I've introduced everything here. So this is the PC I'm going to build. Uh, this is a PC I'm going to build for myself for my workstation and uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, this video is just a quick briefing video and introducing video for let you guys know uh, the parts I've chosen, the reason why I've chosen those parts for building up this PC. Okay, so the next video from is I'm going to open up everything and to show you what's exactly the things in those boxes uh, to show you what it looks like, to show you uh, everything there. And then I'm going to build up this PC from ground up and to show you guys all the details and how to install all the parts in here. So stay tuned. Okay, thank you guys very much for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you don't, the button is there. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers, guys.